Hey friends, welcome back to another video. My name is Emma Fave, and today we're gonna to be painting some detailed mistletoe. So let's jump right in and start. Okay, so today we are gonna be painting a detailed mistletoe. I've done mistletoe once before for like a quick five minute card um, a few years ago. It's one of my more popular videos and people were up in arms because I used red berries just because I wanted some red flecks in it and people were <laughs> just really upset that I used red because mistletoe berries are white. Fun fact, they can also be red. They're typically white, but they can. So if you look it up, there you go. Um, but I'm gonna do white to appease people today for this detailed version. I am painting in my Etcher Lab Cold Press Watercolor Sketchbook. I have my Windsor Newton Professional Watercolors, and I also have my Emma Lefave Craftimo brush in a size six round. Um, and I may also be using some watercolor pencils just to do an outline later. I am gonna outline it first, I think, with my pencil and eraser just because it's easier to erase and we're gonna get started. Okay, so I'm gonna do it fairly large so you guys can see it, um, and I'm gonna do it darker than I recommend you do, just so you guys can see. We're gonna start with like a little top here, and then we're gonna skip a little area so we can do a bow thereafter, or we can even do the bow now. Let's just do the bow now. It's gonna do kind of like a shape here like that, and we'll do and then it's gonna look like it curves so I'm gonna come from right here and I'm gonna come down like that and I'm gonna cut it right there so that will be like the inside like it's folded okay same kind of thing and we'll do some shading in there after to make it look a bit more real. It's really bothering me how dark this is, but I wanna make sure you guys can see. We're gonna have the ribbon come out this way. We can even cut it off there and then do a little fold here. Come down, squiggle like this, cut it off there, have it come out this way. And just make it look a little bit more rounded here. Kind of. <laughs> okay, so there's there's our bow. So now let's get into the actual mistletoe. Okay, so it's going to come off the stem like this. And it's just going to start to branch out. And I'm doing this with a pencil because it's easier to erase the pencil rather than the watercolor pencil. Um, and you're just going to have, let's start with some like jagged stems. Like this. I'm going to go this way. And then we're going to do these rounded kind of leaves. One, two, and then there's going to be some berries in there that we're going to do after. Okay, let's do another one. Then maybe this one could be a little bit shorter. Where the leaves come right here. Maybe this one can be behind. Berries are going to be there too. Now let's have one come out this way. Have a leaf. You can make some thinner so it's like more of a side profile like that. And then we're gonna do some of the ones behind. Okay, so let's have like a leaf coming out from like right here. Little stem, a leaf go behind here like that and go behind. Okay, let's do another one coming out this way. A leaf. A leaf. Like so. Let's have one coming back down here. So do our little stem. Maybe we'll have it branch off into two different directions just to make it a little bit fuller and then have two leaves here. One, actually let's make it a little further out. Two, like that. And 
And we can have one coming this way. Again, a little thinner. And then I feel like there should be one more like coming down here. So I'm just gonna draw a little stem. Coming down, I can like even curve this way. Like that. And like that. Okay. Let's have one more coming out this way. Let's have some coming out from this one, sorry. <laughs> Just wanna make it look as full as I can. All right, there we go. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my eraser and actually, I'm gonna draw the berries first. So right at the base of these, like where the two leaves meet, there's that's where the berries are. So I'm just gonna kind of erase. I have my kneaded eraser. I'm gonna erase just kind of where they meet in the middle there to make some room for berries. Okay. And we're gonna draw a little cluster of berries here. One, two, three, you could do two, you could do three, you could do four. One, two, I'm gonna do stick with like three-ish. One, two, three. Or you could do four if you want. Like that. Like that, and then right here. Maybe just two there, no, three. Three that always looks better. And then some back here like so. Okay, so there's our berries. Now we need to lighten the whole thing so when we watercolor we don't see um, the pencil marks as much, okay? So I just like, this is why I like a kneaded eraser. It's a Faber-Castell kneaded eraser. Um, and I'm just gonna roll it over top to lighten it and the bow too. And I was thinking of using my watercolor pencils, but I, th I think I'm not going to. I don't think I'm going to is what I'm trying to say. I think I'm not going to. Just rolling it to make it lighter. Look at your fun eraser with all the... <laughs> there we go. Okay. So now we're going to start the watercolor part. Um, and we're going to do it kind of the same way we drew it. I'm going to do the ones in the front, the foreground first, that aren't behind. Um, and it's a very light green. It's pretty easy. We're going to use sap green for this. And I'm going to start with a light wash. Just going over the stem. And we're gonna go around the berries, okay? We don't wanna to touch the berries. And I wanna try and keep the stem fairly wet so I can go back in with a little bit of shadow. I'm just going over it again. And I'm just going to grab some darker green, some of this pearlian green. I'm going to put a shadow kind of where the berries are, maybe around either side of the stem, under where the bow is, on top of where the bow is, but mostly around where these berries would be, because the berries would be casting a bit of a shadow. Now this is starting to dry, so that's why I'm getting kind of like a weird mark. So I'm just going to wash off my brush, dry it a bit, and just blend it out. So it's not such a harsh line. I'm going to grab a bit more of my... Like that. Okay? Just to add a little bit of shadow. Again, 
let's do the next one. Make sure it's wet enough to get some of that dark shadow in after. So just keep going over it. Grab your darkness again around those berries and like the underside. And then you can kind of outline a little bit of the stem. Like so. Okay, let's find another one that's kind of like in the foreground. This one. The key is you don't want to be touching another stem. You don't want them to bleed into each other. You want those shadows to be separate. Just go over it, make sure it's all nice and wet, but not like pooling, puddling, pooling. <laughs> I'm going to add a bit of darkness under here because this one's kind of behind a bit and it's touching there. Hmm. That's okay. I'll fix it. I'll fix it in a second. Dark around the berries like so. So I don't know if you can see that. That was starting to dry and then the wet kind of touched it. So I'm just washing and drying off my brush and just kind of blending it out off my brush blend it out okay and then we got to wait for that to dry because we don't want to do any that are touching the ones we just did because we want them to be pretty separated so let's do the bow while we're waiting for that to dry just make sure you're not touching the stem if it's still wet so I gotta do like the actual bow part let's do gr or green red so I'm just gonna start off with my Windsor red and we're gonna do a light wash that's not light. A light wash over this bow area. And then I'm just gonna outline it with some darker red, just to brighten it up a bit. Leave a little bit of that highlight, like right at the edge there. Oops, I did not do that. <laughs> Hold on. I'm still gonna make it quite red. Hold on. Just wanted there to be a bit of a highlight there, but there's not. Hold on. Wash off my brush, dry it. And I'm just gonna wipe up some right here like that okay let's do the other side and we will go back in with some more detail to make the shadow part i'm filming PJ hi pj mask very cute sorry i'm filming <laughs> okay, so our highlight's kind of gone there, but I, I shall fix it. Hold on. <laughs> you know what? I don't think I'm going to edit that out. <laughs> you guys can just hear my son come in here singing PJ Masks. So I think what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna just get to get more of that highlight before it completely dries. I'm just gonna take my paper towel and just dab it there a bit. And dab it there a bit. Just for a bit of a highlight. Okay. 
I should be getting it like a Q-tip or something that would work a lot better. Let's try to blend it out a bit. Okay. And then we'll do the ribbon part down here. Again, just start off with kind of all the same wash for this and then we'll deepen it and do all the details after. A bit more red. I'm just gonna do a bit more red here and then a bit more red right there. So we'll have the highlight right there. We can actually do this one too, this part. We'll just go like that right now. <laughs> okay, coming down. I'm gonna grab a bit more red. A little bit more at the top here and the bottom here. Like so. Okay. And like I said, we'll do a bit more detail on that after. Okay, let's make sure these are dry before we continue. They are, so now we can keep going. And we're gonna do the ones behind. So again, just make sure that if you're doing two that are in the same area, just that they're not touching. So you get that, you know, you know what I'm saying, right? Do you? <laughs> Okay, and these are a little, the ones going behind are a bit more tricky just because you have to be careful with how, like what part you touch. You don't want to go over previous stems. You just got to be a bit more detailed with your, your brush, which is typically why I don't do detailed work as often because I like to move fast. And with this, you kind of have to go slow, but although detailed work can do, be fun when you're just like really need to relax and concentrate on something. Enjoy that too. Grab your dark. And especially because this is behind those front ones, it's going to be a little bit darker. So I'm just adding those shadows, especially right behind where they are behind those other stems. Like that. Okay, let's do another one, uh, like down here. Actually, you can touch this one because it's just touching the berry. I wish I could have some Christmas music while I did this. That's one thing about filming tutorials. I would love to paint with music, but then I wouldn't be able to use it or monetize my videos for copyright for, for sounds, but that's okay. And if I just wore headphones, I'd end up most likely singing along. So it's probably best I don't, <laughs> but all right darker oops that's a lot but that's okay just moving around okay because they're behind other ones so it's okay that it's darker like that all right and then actually let's do this one they can touch here at the stem because it's still wet and they're kind of connected anyway Ooh, but it's gonna touch there. That's okay. I'm gonna try and go around it. Eh, it's fine. Okay, I shouldn't have done this one, but that's fine. darkness 
that way and that way and underneath here and especially underneath that stem there and along the sides. Okay, let's do this one because it's not touching anything else. Is this one still wet? That one's kind of still wet. Mm. Is this still wet? No. Okay, you know what? I'm going to wait to do those other ones because they're all touching something. So let's do the bow. Okay, so now we're going to take a darker red. Um, so I have this like alizarin crimson color that I really like. But if you don't have that, you could always just add a tiny bit of green to your red. Um, and it will make it darker. Just a tiny bit. Okay, so I'm going to make where it's kind of folded inside, we're going to darken this area here. So kind of drawing the line there. Actually, I'm gonna wash and dry off my brush. I'm gonna make a little highlight in here like that. And then continue to darken right here and right here, if that makes sense. Okay. And if it's looking a little blotchy, you can always take some clean water and just blend it out just a little bit. So it's all the same amount of wetness. You're not getting that weird, harsh line, but you get that highlighted area a bit more. I might even take a little bit of Hooker's Green and just add it to my red to make it even darker. And just tap right where it folds. Like that. Okay. See how it looks like it's folded? All right, and then this one it folds right under here, so we gotta make it look like it's coming down there. You know what, I'm just gonna wet. Hold on, I gotta wash it off first. I'm gonna wet down here. I'm gonna come in with my alizarin crimson and really just darken right here. This one doesn't look as correct, but that's okay. Then take that darker, darker red right where it would fold. That one looks a little weird. That's okay though. It's supposed to go in more and I didn't, but that's okay. <laughs> Let's do the other side. You live and you learn. Okay. Actually, let's just wet the whole thing with a light wash so you can grab that highlight then go in with our dark red, tap where the fold is, tap here so it blends, and then grab the even darker bit, so a bit more red and brown. It's almost like a brown color for your shadow. Like so. Okay, I feel like we could even make it a little darker here too. Okay, and then this one, this one looks a bit more correct. I'm just going to wet it up. Grab our darkness right there. And then right around the center here too. Just gonna wet this up and then just add some darkness to the outside there. Okay, and we will, ooh, actually right here too at the top we gotta do. Ah, no, wait, I'm gonna let that dry, sorry. <laughs> I'm like so indecisive. It's fine, okay. Are these dry now? Can we keep going? Yes, I believe we can. All right, let's continue to do the rest of our mistletoe stems. I think I'm gonna speed this part up just because you've seen me do it a few times now. And I think you guys got it. And it just gets really slow and kind of boring. So I'm gonna speed it up. And then we'll come back and do the little bits of detail.
Okay, so there's our mistletoe. Um, we are gonna get to the berries once the mistletoe part is dry. Again, let's, I just wanna brighten up this bow a bit, especially the lighter parts. So what I'm gonna do, make sure it's completely dry. Yes, okay. And I'm just gonna go over this part with water, the more highlighted part. And I'm just gonna drop in some brighter, my Windsor Red, just to make it a little bit brighter around the edges. So we should get like a nice soft bleed, hopefully. <laughs> Okay, I just wanted to brighten it up a bit. Now I'm gonna grab a little bit more of that darkness. Just bring it over here a bit, like that. Just a little bit brighter. Okay, again, it's a lot of water, hold on. Grab more of that bright red. And just kind of basically doing an outline leaving that highlighted bit. Oops. Like that. Just gonna wash and dry off my brush just so I can blend it out just a bit better. And then grabbing that dark red Too much water on my brush, come on. This is why detailed work is so much harder. Cause I just wanna like get in and get it done and I'm just like super impatient. And there. Okay. And then this part here, I can actually go over this too, just a bit. Okay. Just gonna wet it up with some water. Okay, grab that brighter. Red and just outline, get your darker red and darker up here. You know what, I'm just gonna make this darker again under here because it's already touching, it's fine. Okay, and then the last one here. Darker red. Right up here. I grab a little bit of that green again, make it even darker right up here. Hand is starting to shake a bit. <laughs> there we go. And I just might make it darker again over here. Wash it off, blend it out. All right, I'm just gonna see if I can get a bit more of a highlight there. A bit more of a highlight there. That's pretty good. All right, so now for our berries. Okay, so we're doing white berries on a white piece of paper. So they're not gonna be completely white. They're gonna be like a bit of a gray or even like a yellowish. Um, depends on how you wanna do it. So if you wanna do like a gray color, you can, or make it a little bit more maybe burnt umber or even yellow ochre. I think I'm gonna try a little bit of burnt umber. Like really water down with a little bit of black, just whatever's here, water it down like crazy. And just make sure you're not doing anything that's touching any white areas and you're just gonna kinda of outline it, leaving a little bit of white space. That's pretty brown. So I'm just gonna do it first and then I'm going to lift up some of that color. Okay, I'm gonna wash off my brush. 
dry it and lift it up a bit. I might even actually, I'm gonna grab a Q-tip in the whiteness a bit. Okay, so I'm just doing this light, you know what, I might even make it a bit more of a grayish color. So I'm just gonna grab a bit more black. And I'm just gonna go around. Yeah, I like the gray color better. I'm just gonna go around the berries, like so. Wash off my brush, oops, dry it, and then kinda let it blend into the middle just a little, leaving most of it white but you can kind of still see an outline, if that makes sense. See, I like the black color better. Okay, so we're just outlining. Wash off your brush, dry it, and then blend out those lines a bit. Like that. You can go a little bit more, not intense with the color, but a little bit darker if you want to. Just have a bit more gray in there. Like that. And like you really need like the tiniest, tiniest amount of color. You could always do this part with like watercolor pencils too if you had them. Might be easier. That, wash it off, blend it out so you're not getting such a harsh line, you're just blending it inwards. A little bit of dark brown, and the ones that are dry, and you just do like a little tiny dot, like that. You can be facing different ways, just like the tiniest little boop. Try and make sure they're dry. Some of them weren't, that's okay. But I mean, it's pretty good. Um, I, do, I actually might do a little bit more shading on them, so let's wait for it to dry. Uh, it's good, okay. So actually, you know what? I think I'm gonna take my darker gray pencil, watercolor pencil, and just kinda go around some of the berries, just where they all meet, to separate them a bit. You could even just do this with a regular like graphite pencil too, just for a little bit of shadow. Just to really separate those berries. You don't even have to like use water to make it watercolor, just adding those shadows or like I said just use like a graphite pencil kind of where they all cluster together there you go there is your watercolor detailed mistletoe thank you guys so much for watching my video i really hope you liked it and i hope you learned something don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me on instagram for even more have a great day guys bye